Hello beautiful family, beautiful family, Stephen here, um, Sunday the 10th of uh, December in the year 2023. Uh, I'm with Brother Rob over there and um, he's just evangelising already and I'm, I've got a speaker strapped to me and I've got, a, and I've got the camera in a, tr in a, a harness so that, um, uh, so, so that people can, uh, so you can't see me. I'm having to put this umbrella up just even though it's not raining much, I'm just I don't want any spots on the camera, but I'm going to start preaching straight away. Oh God, give me strength. God, God bless you, Bradford. We are here to today to tell you that God loves you, and we are here to tell you the way that leads to everlasting life. Because all of you are made in the image of God. That means you have a spirit and a soul inside you and you will spend eternity in one of two places, heaven and hell. And there's only one name under heaven, given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ, he said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be it any man, be it any woman, because your soul is precious to the Lord God. He doesn't want to see you uh, lose out on what all the good things he's got in store for humankind who, who love him, who have put their trust in him. But you need to lay hold of your salvation. Because like the Bible says, we, we all come short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. I'm chief sinner. I don't mind admitting it. But the Bible says that the wages or the penalty of sin is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And this is available for anybody and everybody. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Look around the world. It's so obvious. Look at the Bible. The prophecies Bible prophecies are jumping off the pages because we are living in the final seconds and moments of the end of this age and Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Have you believed the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? Please, if you haven't, I urge you to believe on the Lord Jesus today. It's not about religion. It's not about going to church. God's just looking at your heart. God wants to know if you will accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, or will you reject the one and the only one who can grant you everlasting life and write your name in the book of life and write your name in heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Only by Jesus Christ will anybody see heaven. I'm just a... Yeah, okay, God bless you. I'm just going to continue. Uh, yes, listen, this is the way to be saved, my friend. That if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, according to the scriptures, he hung on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, as it is written. And if you believe that in your heart, you'll be justified before the great God of the whole earth. And you call upon Jesus and you will be saved. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you for your encouragement. Come, Lord Jesus Christ. It's so evident that we are living in the final moments of the end of this age, and Jesus Christ is coming. Look around the world. Couldn't get any more obvious. If the last few years wasn't enough to wake you up to what time it is, then please awake to righteousness today. Everything's lining up just as it says in the Word of God. Bible prophecies are all jumping off the pages. It's so obvious we are in the season for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, in the rapture, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Please. If you haven't believed on him, then believe on him now, because time is short. Jesus Christ is coming. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for us on that cross. You need saving, you need forgiveness of sin. If any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself, and the truth is not in him. 
If we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar and his word is not in us. But if you humble yourself and say, yes, of course I have sinned. We've all lied. Most of us have stolen. Most of us have committed sexual immorality. Come on, be honest. That's all God's looking at is your heart. Whether or not you're going to be honest and receive the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ, by believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You must be saved. You must lay hold of your salvation. Because you have an eternal spirit and soul inside you. You'll go to heaven or hell. Unfortunately, people die. Thousands of people die every day. You're not guaranteed your next breath. Do you know if you were to draw your last breath today that you would go to heaven or hell? I know I'm going straight to be with the Lord Jesus if I was to die today. Because I have believed, I have believed the testimony of God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. I knew that Jesus died on that cross for me, for my sin. I knew that Jesus shed his blood for my sin. I knew it, and I knew he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And I was saved. I called upon Jesus, and I was saved. God bless you, sir. Your own oh, would you like me to come off these premises? All right, that's fair enough then. Yeah, God bless you. Jesus loves you, all right? Thank you. Okay, God bless you. Yeah. Right, I'll stop this one then, just in time. It's a bit nasty weather, isn't it? I don't want to get the camera away. Oh, I, better, I better put that up, actually, because... Yeah, don't worry, I'm stopping now. Yeah. yeah. Just be, uh, after the you know, red bricks, that's fine. After that point. Yeah, know. all right, I understand. I, I respect, yeah. Okay, Cheers. take care now. Have a nice day. Right, family, I think, I think I'll just stop that one and just upload it as a short one to let you know that we're here. Straight away, I get some problems from security, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's just doing his job, you know, so. <laughs> all right, I love you all. He's absolutely chucking it down all of a sudden now, but it's not going to stop me. God bless you.